video showing my uh, new solar setup. So what I have here is a solar controller. It's a battery charger set to flooded setting. And then I'm basically taking my wires here and running over down to the battery. Um, so I'm making a connection um, through this sub this uh, sub panel here over to the charger and then I've got it set up where I could have multiple chargers and this just is a ground bus here there's a, a USB dongle right here um, that connects to the to the controller so I can um, monitor the what my amps reading so what I have here now is um, the refrigerator isn't currently running there it just kicked on so you can see my refrigerator after you net it out the refrigerator is taking 1.6 amp hours and before this it was charging at about um, three and change amps so right now the refrigerator is on um, what I can do now is I'm gonna go and turn the refrigerator off okay um, so now we can go look and I've got um, I'm charging right now at 3.2 net of all the other activity on the boat which isn't much right now it's the daytime so now we're gonna go topside and look um, and you can see now that I'm at around 13 volts um, plugged into the, the, the solar panel. So, our situation here is I've got the solar panel just sitting on um, the deck on the port side where the sun's out, but it's still a little, it's not totally high in the sky. And so what we have is we have a, a pretty thin Look how thin this is. It's flexible and you can stand on it. That's the kind of panel it is. What I have is I've got the wire run over there out the porthole. So I'm just um, testing this right now. Um, but um, it's a flexible panel and I'm just seeing, I'm right, this is a 100 amp panel and I'm, I'm getting about 50 watts out of it right now. I think just because of the sun position.